Are both Goku and Vegeta combined stronger than the gods? Here we go. These are some of my favorite videos on all of YouTube. I've never seen Vegeta and Goku combined for a power levels though. This could get very interesting and the two of them together are nowhere near top. Top is low-key crazy strong. Look at that build. His shoulders or his, uh, uh, these things literally are higher than it said. That's how you know he is insanely strong. But here we go. The two Saiyans are powering up. They're both in Super Saiyan form. And by the way, I finally, finally, you guys have been begging me to watch all the movies because I've told you guys multiple times I've not. But recently I just watched Dragon Ball Brawly. What is this music? Oh my, we're like in a club now. I was not expecting that. Hey, hey, hey. Anyway, I just watched S Dragon Ball Superhero and it was just okay. Ho, 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 ho. Also, I heard that Zeta went to Ultra Ego. Ho, 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 ho. But he didn't in that movie. What? He didn't? No. He didn't. So when does he? Because apparently he does and I never seen it. I don't know when he does it. I really want to see it. When does Vegeta go ultra ego? Someone tell me. I want to know. Someone tell me. I want to know. Pick your nose. Pick a, pick a, pick your nose. Flick it. Spin on it. Whoa. Hakua. What's going on? Back to the video. Goku and Vegeta are both Super Saiyan Blue. Wow. 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 Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that got a little out of control. Goku in Super Saiyan Blue, Cal Ken times 20. And Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue, regular, is stronger than Sidra. Never mind, that's not true. Sidra is at 9 septillion and the others are at 9 sextillion. Not even close, not even fair. Those two will get absolutely impaired. It's ridiculous. Goku, Ultra Instinct, oh! One, first time he goes to Ultra. Okay, all right, I gotta relax, gotta relax. I'm just, the, the, I'm bopping, I'm leaving, I'm dipping, I'm dodging. Okay, I'm pretty sure all the Destroyer Gods are relatively similar. So, Goku and Ultra Instinct first sign, and Vegeta in Super Saiyan Blue, I'm pretty sure should be stronger than all of the Destroyer Gods. Shout out to Hellas. That's my favorite Destroyer God. Just kidding, it's Beerus. Uh, it, it really is Beerus. Love Beerus. Woo, okay. Finally, they changed up the beat on me. Wow, that got crazy for a second. I don't know what I even said. I don't even know what came out of me. That was insane. It was like a new person. I can finally take a breath, though. My goodness. Okay. Champa. Loki, Champa's pretty cool. He's like kind of annoying, but also pretty funny. Like the relationship between Champa and Beerus is like funny brother rivalry. But anyway, these are just the Destroyer Gods who, for a long, long time, I figured were like the strongest gods in the entire universe. What I didn't realize is that they're not even close. Although they're insanely strong and they can blow up planets literally like Thanos. Um, the Destroyer Gods could probably 1v1 Thanos. Let's be realistic here. They can not only destroy planets, they can destroy galaxies, entire, whatever they want. They're insanely strong. But who is stronger? Are the angels? Like Whis? I did not realize how strong Whis was until after I watched Dragon Ball Super. And I saw something, like I don't even know. I, but it actually does add up because whenever Goku and Vegeta train with Whis, they literally can't touch him. They cannot touch him. When Goku battled Beerus, he was at least like punching him. Was it doing much damage? No. But at least like he was touching him. And I think that's because angels are like infinitely in the Ultra Instinct mode. And here we go. Shout out to Beerus the GOAT. 
The Goat Destroyer. Everyone loves Beerus. Beerus really is easily the coolest destroyer yacht. Maybe the coolest character in all of Dragon Ball, let's be honest. His love for sushi makes me love him more because I also love sushi. Beerus in full power is at 11 septillion, which is really not that much stronger than, than Goku in Ultra Instinct. Wait. Whoa! Wait, Vegeta and Ultra Instinct? Where does a Vegeta go? Ultra Instinct. Xeno attendants are 12.5 septillion. Honestly, I thought that they would be stronger. And you know what's crazy? Is these gods on the right, as strong as they are, they're all terrified of Lord Xeno. Okay, this is my favorite uh, 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 angel. Markrita. Markrita, shout out Markrita. Vegeta never goes Ultra Instinct though. Can someone tell me what I have to watch? For where, like when does Vegeta go Ultra Ego? Is that only in the manga? Cause I don't read, I can't read. So, or like, is there another movie or something where he goes Ultra Ego? Cause if he did, I totally missed it. And I thought that I watched them all. I watched Dragon Ball Brawly. I watched Superhero or Heroes, whatever it was called. And Goku and Vegeta weren't even in that movie. All that happened was that Piccolo goes orange Piccolo. Which I guess is kind of cool. Whatever. I, I, the movie was okay. The movie was okay. I did like, though, that it allowed growth for Gohan. Because Gohan is a big fat noob. And he was annoying me so much. But that... Oh, shout out Whis! Let's go! Whis... Best angel after Marquita. Anyway, Gohan, for so long, was like shelled up in a ball of suck. Let's be honest here. Let's call potato potato. Gohan sucked for so long. Really after the Cell Saga. Post Cell Saga, Gohan trash. I'm hoping that that last movie, that superhero movie, sort of awakened him. And he'll actually train now and, and be cool and not be lame. You know what I'm saying? Go 10 in that movie, also kind of lame. I thought that he would grow up to be way stronger. But he was pretty lame in that. And I'm pretty sure he, he did a... He did a... He messed up his fusion with Trunks. Come on. That is like their thing. You can't mess that up. That annoyed me that they messed it up. But Gotenks is like the coolest character. So I, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing with those guys. But anyway, Goku and Vegeta both in Ultra Instinct form. Which is Cap, by the way. They can't both do it. Only Goku can do it because he's the GOAT. Are stronger than all of the angels, apparently. Only Awamo so far has been anywhere near them. Oh, wait. This girl's. Cuz. What's up, Cuz? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what are you doing at the mall? Wait, why are you at the mall? Cuz, cuz I wanna be? Why did you eat that entire pizza in under three minutes? Cuz, cuz I felt like it. Bingo, bongo, wongo, dongo. Goku and Vegeta, master ultra instinct. Get out of here, move to the side. Oh, never mind. Oh god, Grand Priest is actually really strong. It's crazy that if you think about it, he's like three times as strong as Beerus. That's insane. Whoa! Wait, what? Goku Master Ultra Instinct Blue 3. And then Vegeta Super Saiyan 4 G? What is G? Gold? Okay, now we're actually just making stuff up. What is that? Vegeta LSSBE4. Someone please de-encrypt that or decrypt that. That's not a thing. Okay. Goku Original Gangster 2.0. Go okay, they're not stronger than Xeno. Xeno is infinite power. No! Lord Xeno! has infinite power. There is no way Goku and Vegeta combined. I don't care what the form is. There, it's in, there's no way. They can't be stronger than Lord Zeno. What is that? Those forms actually do look pretty cool, to be honest. But they looked way too evil. 
They look way too... Who is that? Oh, that's Zeno in his final form. It's gotta be infinite. 10 octillion. How? Why is it not infinite? He can literally destroy the entire multiverse with the snap of his fingers if he wanted to. Okay, dude. No way! What? What are those forms? Those are not real forms. Okay. Rainbow Vegeta and Rainbow Goku are apparently the strongest things of all time. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed that power level comparison, make sure to leave a like and click right here to watch another Dragon Ball power level comparison.